I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from the subscriber based on absolute functions inequality. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for participating actively and posting questions. The question here is x square minus 5 times absolute value of x plus 6 is less than 0. Now for any absolute function we should first redefine the function absolute value of x can be written as positive value of x for x greater than or equal to 0 and negative x for x less than 0 right to begin with that should be your first step now that reminds you that you know you can actually solve it as a piecewise function where x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0 so that is how we are going to do it. So let's say x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 0. So we could write, rather rewrite this function as x square. Now when x is less than 0, we are taking negative x, right? So that becomes minus 5 times negative x plus 6 less than 0. But when x is greater than or equal to 0, we'll take this as absolute value of x as positive x. So it is going to be x square minus 5x plus 6 less than 0. Perfect. Now I think it's simpler. So we have x square plus 5x plus 6 less than 0. Here we have x square minus 5x plus 6 less than 0. Now this can be factored. We are looking for product of minus, I mean sum of minus 5 product of 6 both negative so we could write this as x minus 3 times x minus 2 less than 0 so I'll use the technique of graphing to write down this particular solution so that part I could actually graph uh, okay and then then we we'll write down the solution okay we'll make a small graph when we say x is uh, has zeros at 3 and 2 that means something like this right something like this upwards we are only interested from here onwards correct right so this part will be 6 when x is 0 okay anyway we are looking into positive negative parts so what we can conclude from here that x is between 2 and 3 for the quadratic function to be less than 0. So that gives you the value of x between 2 and 3 when x is greater than or equal to 0. Perfect. Now in this case we could write this as x plus 3 times x plus 2 is less than 0. So this graph is going to be you know it's very symmetric to that. So it is going to be uh, minus 2 minus 3 so it's kind of like this right so like this so clearly what we see that x is greater than minus 3 but less than 2 so it is between these two portions right so that becomes the solution as you can clearly see it is an even function so sometimes we can place this as an even function only do one side and from the reflection we get the other side also right so here is the answer that x is between minus 3 to minus 2 union 2 to 3 perfect so that is how you should be solving this question so we have used different ways of uh, answering the question you could write as an inequality you could also use a number line so so on a number line, we could show uh, that if this is 0, in that case, the solution is between minus 3 and minus 2 or 2 and 3. Correct? So that becomes the solution on a number line. So I hope all these concepts are absolutely clear to you. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. We'll take a few more questions on absolute functions since we have a lot of demand on it. Thanks for watching and all the best.